Tracks is sponsored by Polaris, think outside. Can-Am, time for some off-road living. And by Yamaha, revs your heart. Working in the off-road industry, I get to see a lot of cool places, but few of them captivate me like Moab does. It's truly a place unto its own, and in reality, it looks a whole lot more like the surface of Mars than it does the state of Utah. And while I've been to Moab my fair share of times, it never gets old. Never is lacking in thrills and excitement, and there's always some new adventure or new trail or new challenge to be had. But for this trip, I'm actually getting to do one of the things you might think looks like the norm for Moab, but I just never had the opportunity to do it. Riding the Slick Rock in Moab is an absolute must do for the off-road enthusiast. And if you can get your Jeep or your own side-by-side -side there, well, that's just a bonus. But for those of us who would be flying in, renting a Jeep is kind of the first and most obvious way to get out and experience the Slick Rock in Moab. Hercules Tires was gracious enough to offer us the opportunity to come down with a group of their dealers and tackle the Slick Rock trails in brand new Jeeps with matching new Hercules tires and beautiful TIS rims. This is something that I've never done before and I was really excited to see both how capable the Jeeps truly were and also likewise how the new tires from Hercules would perform. This is my first time driving a Jeep in Moab. Yeah, I've been here many, many times on side-by-sides, ATVs, on foot, doing everything else, but this is gonna be cool. Don't have to wear a helmet, don't get dusty, have air conditioning, spoiled. Now, when I've been out in Moab, I have seen my fair share of Jeeps out on the trails, but I gotta be honest, I was a little bit skeptical about how a stock Jeep with nothing more than just like a two inch lift kit was actually gonna handle these Moab trails. Likewise, I was a little skeptical about the new TerraTrack ATX Venture tires my Jeep was rolling on, and if they'd be up for the extreme conditions of Moab. Don't get me wrong, the new ATX Venture with their tusk grooves, alternating shoulder scallops, and stone ejector ribs are a tire not to be underestimated, but out here on the Slick Rock, everyone was rolling on MT mud tires, so I just didn't know if this Three Peak Snowflake winter rated tire was going to have what it takes to get the job done. Now I will say there were three different Hercules tires out on the trails with us. There was the ATX Venture that I used all day long just to see exactly how much it could handle. There was also the TG Max, which is kind of a commercial hybrid tire between an all-terrain and a mud terrain. And then there's the full-blown Hercules MT mud tire. And I knew the MTs and TG Max tires would perform excellent. Heck, they look like all the other tires everyone else out here is running. But I wanted a challenge, or so I thought, by sticking with the TerraTrax ATX Venture tires for the whole day. I expected to be using diff lock, I expected to need a winch, but being the big boy that I am, I can admit when I'm wrong, and let me tell you, my expectations couldn't have been further from the truth, as the mighty TerraTrack ATX Venture went everywhere that I pointed it. There's many cool features on the Moab trails, and we chose to run two different trail systems. The first one was Hell's Revenge, and this is probably, no it is, it's the most popular trail out in Moab. But then the second is Poison Spider. Now both of these trails are equally unique, but they're also both equally demanding on both the vehicle that you're running and the tire that you have it equipped with. On Hell's Revenge, you have much more of the traditional slick rock to ride on and many smoother features. Now I say smoother, but don't let that fool you into thinking this means easy. Uh, no, these are anything but easy and will make your knuckles white and your palms sweaty at times when you're looking straight into the sky, not knowing what's over the next ridge as you seem to be climbing into the atmosphere. And on the flip side, sometimes staring at nothing but rock as you drop off shelves and rolling hills with attack angles that are what looks to be far steeper than you should ever attempt. However, with great guides like we had from Twisted Jeeps, the features I assumed were off limits became totally possible. Now I will say that when you're in Moab and you're driving a Jeep, no matter what skill level you have, there is massive benefit to having a spotter helping you with tire placement. And this is where tires like the TG Max and the TerraTrack MT would get a bit better grip and be able to climb right through. But using proper tire placement with the use of a spotter allowed me with the less aggressive ATX Venture tires to make it everywhere the others did. No winch, no locking diffs, just four wheel drive and steady forward momentum. Okay. Well, occasionally we had to use some throttle and a little bit of bump to get over some of the larger rocks. One of the things I really appreciated about being in a Jeep is the fact that you do this at a much slower speed and it seems to be way more technical. When you go at these trails in a side-by-side, -side, because the side-by-side -side is more rugged, you can do it at a higher speed. 
but I liked having the pace slowed down. I've always enjoyed slow rock crawling and I'm having to be precise and calculated. I know I'm usually sideways at 70 miles per hour in a side-by-side, -side, but I love the pace in Jeeps and the reality that if you don't take it slow and methodical, you might end up with thousands of dollars of body damage to the Jeep. In side-by-sides, we're used to bumping off stuff and scratches are pretty much expected on your rig. But with Jeeps, this isn't the case. Well, okay, some of the folks out here look like you put their Jeep in a tin can with rocks and shook it up, but these rentals from Twisted Jeeps were in mint shape and we plan to keep them that way. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by MBRP Performance Exhaust, built for the Victory Lab. Now the landscapes really changed from Hell's Revenge with its big wide vistas and its large slick rock and overlooking the mighty Colorado River to Poison Spider where there's a whole bunch more loose strewn out rocks and a lot more sand, but both were equally as fun. The loose rocks at Poison Spider made for more need to be very precise with the tire speed and also the placement. A few times we actually had rocks spin and move under the vehicle, so you had to be aware as to not get high centered. Certain areas also had sand mixed with the rock and it would carry up and onto the surface you were trying to climb. However, I noticed that the TerraTrack ATX Venture would evacuate the sand quickly and still grip the rock even though there was a layer of sand left from the other Jeeps ahead of me. That's where the tire profile and tread blocking came into play allowing the Venture to get maximum grip even when I didn't think that there was grip to be had. The ATX Venture is a tire that we have on our work truck, and after just a short time testing it back home, we knew that it was a good tire. But after putting it to the true test out here in Moab, I know that this is a tire that you can count on. The trip in Moab showed me a correlation to back home. Many folks pick an MT tire because they want to have the best traction. However, you do sacrifice some ride quality and road noise. But after putting these TerraTrack ATX Venture tires to the test, I know for a fact that they're massively capable. They clear out incredibly well, they don't hold rocks or stones because of the innovative stone ejector ribs, and all that adds up to a tire that will perform far better on your truck than most of the hugely aggressive MT tires out there. You'll benefit from a smooth, quiet ride and also a 60,000 mile or 100,000 kilometer Hercules mileage coverage plan. You'll also have the benefit of the three peak snowflake rating symbol, meaning your insurance company will give you a winter tire discount, something mud train tires don't usually offer. And if after all this, you're not completely satisfied, Hercules offers a very cool 45 day trust our ride test drive program where you can take the tires back and exchange them for any other Hercules tires of similar quality. Tires are something that we all use, we all replace, and we all put a lot of faith in them. They carry our families, carry our businesses, and carry our toys. So at the end of the day, why wouldn't you take some extra time to look into what your tires are made of and how they truly perform when put to the ultimate test? And today, I can say with full assurance, the all-new TerraTrack ATX Venture is a tire that passes all my expectations, and it's backed by a company who stands behind their product. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Princess Auto. Make it work. Working here at Dirt Tracks, stuff gets used. More often than not, it gets used pretty hard. And when it gets used really hard, it gets broken and needs to be fixed. But sometimes the stuff that we need to fix is located in a place that there's no power. However, we're thankful that we can take a quick trip down the Princess Auto aisles, and it always gets our gears turning. Sometimes the things that we need to either fix or maintain aren't what you'd expect, and today I've got a farm-style safety gate at our test facility that over time has shifted and requires a crude stack of rocks to hold up when it's left in the locked position. Years of snow and ice pressing down on this gate in the winter months has caused it to pull on the mount post, but with the help from Princess Auto, I'm not gonna have to remove the gate from the post, I'm gonna bring the fix to the gate. And to do that job, I'm gonna bring along all kinds of tools that I've got from Princess Auto and load them in the back of our Defender 6x6 with its huge utility-focused bed that's gonna allow us to bring along everything that we need to get the job done. And I'm talking everything. Toss in the kitchen sink if you'd like, 
But first things first, I need power out there. So I grabbed up a ProPoint 3000 watt generator with electric start. This ProPoint generator is run by a 208cc four-stroke overhead valve motor, and it'll produce 2,800 watts of continuous power. It'll do that for 13 hours at 50% load on a single tank of gas. Or in other words, a whole lot of fixes. Now I need all of this power to run a bunch of very important tools to fix my gate. First is the five inch power fist hand grinder. That's gonna clean off the paint where I need to weld and tidy up any rough spots when I'm done. Secondly is the Jepson 14 inch dry cut saw that's gonna take this two by one steel tubing I also grabbed up at Princess Auto and turn it into something of a leg to support the gate and get rid of the pile of rocks that I keep knocking over. Having access to a saw like this Jepson dry cut is so much easier than having to bring along oil for cutting or anything like that because it's just not feasible out here. This honestly is one really impressive tool. Now I've got to attach all these pieces to the gate and the way to make it last is by welding it. And to weld out here, I've opted for a Hobart folding welding table that not only works for welding, but is just a handy rugged table to have all my tools on as well. Now ProPoint has some serious welders. They have them in many formats and some of those are multi-process like this 145A dual voltage MIG TIG ARC. It allows you to run off both 115 or 230 volt plugs with the use of an internal inverter. This means out here I don't need a massive generator to do the job. I can power this with my generator and run either MIG or ARC for my steel welds. And of course, I can use FlexCore wire to do gasless MIG and save even more time and tools to bring along. A couple of ProPoint sliding arm clamps also come in really handy to keep my amateur welds strong. Now to get the gate leg in place, I've already gone ahead and ground the gate so that I've got nice bare metal to be able to tack this thing onto. The problem can be when you're on your own, holding something like this in the proper position it's tough by yourself. These cool ProPoint magnets will do the holding for you, whether on the welding table or here at the fence. They hold 80 pounds, and with the flip of a switch, will change the polarity of the magnet to release without having to pull like a gorilla on your freshly welded part. It's a simple tool, and it works really good. And just like that, I fixed up this gate for years of better service. Now, while I was walking the aisles of Princess Auto, I saw another part that I just had to buy, and it's for a project that I've been procrastinating on for years. So let's head back to the shop and I'll show you what that is. While I was walking the aisles and dreaming about everything that I could make, I was stopped dead in my tracks at this, a 420cc electric start engine. It looked at me and it said, fix that power wash, dude. Well, I don't know if it knew what it was getting into because we abuse power washers around here. I have a blown motor on an old but good quality washer that I've been procrastinating on fixing for a long time. But today, yep, it's the day. And Princess Auto offers a wide variety of not just engine sizes, but also recoil or electric start and various output shaft diameters to fix everything from go-karts to power washers, snow blowers, tractors, wood splitters, and any other household power equipment. If your motor's blown, they've got you covered. Princess Auto has two different house brand engine lines. They've got ProPoint and they've got PowerFist. I opted for ProPoint on this setup because we use this power washer almost every single day, or we're going to now that it's fixed. If it were just, you know, cottage, evenings, weekends, that type of thing, I definitely would have gone for PowerFist and saved a few bucks. But because we're looking at something that's commercial grade, I wanted to go with ProPoint. It's gonna be around for the long haul. But I'm not completely done here. I always get frustrated by the standard hose reel holders. And so I thought, since I've got all my welding and cutting gear, I'd just go ahead and fab up a new holder and tack it right to the existing washer cart. A bit of the two by one tubing, a few quick measurements, and a couple cuts with the Jepson dry saw and some tacking with the Pro Point welder. And we have a much more functional hose holder that will support more hose and not fall off the first time we try to move the thing. All I need now is to hit it with a bit of rust paint and we're back in business. It doesn't really matter how good you treat your stuff, things are gonna break. But instead of tossing out the old, why not fix it? Along the way, you're gonna learn a bunch of great skills. You're also gonna be able to equip your garage with all kinds of cool new tools. And hey, just be ready, because when you're done, your neighbors are probably gonna stop by with some broken stuff for you to fix when they see how handy you've become. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines the word ultimate as the best or most extreme of its kind. It would seem to me, based on this definition, that this word is used improperly a lot. 
clearly not everything can be ultimate. Only one thing can. So while I do believe this word is used improperly a lot, Polaris's use of the word in the name of this Razer Pro XP4 is spot on. Why do I feel that way? Well, because there is no other Polaris side-by-side -side with as many features or high-end features as this one. It is literally jam-packed with every extra you could ever want, all while still packing 181 turbocharged horsepower and all the incredible handling the Pro XP platform is best known for. This means that right from square one, you're getting the absolute best ride, handling, and ergonomics Polaris has to offer. You also get Dynamics 2.0 active suspension with the 7-inch Ride Command touchscreen display, steering wheel controls, GPS mapping, tilt and telescoping steering wheel, six-point harnesses front and rear, accent lighting front and rear, fold flat rear seats, 30-inch Maxxis Carnivore 2.0 tires, a roof, and Rockford Fosgate Stage 4 audio with backlit component speakers and a 400-watt subwoofer. The only thing that's missing from a vehicle with Ultimate in its name is a winch, and I gotta be honest, I'm really surprised it's not included. But that's it. Literally everything else is pre-installed. Let's break the list of features down into two categories, performance and lifestyle. And when you take a look at the performance-hancing features this thing comes with standard, it's hard not to expect that it's gonna give you the ultimate riding experience. The 30-inch Maxxis Carnivore 2s offer unbelievable traction in nearly every condition. They're tough and they look great. High back bolstered seating with retractable six-point harnesses puts you in an aggressive but still comfortable seating position. A tilt and telescoping steering wheel allows you to tailor the fit of the cockpit to suit you perfectly. But there's no question, the most important performance enhancing feature here is Dynamics 2.0. By now everybody knows what Dynamics is and how it works. Dynamics 2.0 simply processes and adjusts faster. Cruising along and I'm gonna be in comfort mode right now. This is perfect for riding down say a fire road at you know medium speeds or if you're on a trail. It's also excellent if you're gonna be rock crawling because it allows the most articulation. Dynamic makes it so that when you corner and you accelerate and slow down, it does stiffen the outside front rear shocks as necessary. Sport mode is perfect for more aggressive fire road riding. It does a better job of keeping the chassis flat and stopping body roll. Soaks up big hits a little bit better. So if you're ripping down a fire road or a trail at higher speeds and you, you, know, you hit a G out or a bump, it's got more bottoming resistance, higher compression than it does in, in comfort mode. Of course, then you go up into firm, is what they call it, and it is decidedly firm. I'm in firm now, and I can feel the difference in ride quality immediately. And this setting, though, is the best setting. If you want to go really fast on flat ground, obviously you want the least amount of body roll. This is the setting to have. You're going to be running terrain that's super rough and you want to go really fast, you got to be in firm. Obviously, if you're going to be hitting jumps, you'd want to be in firm, though this system does have the jump mode. Hit a jump and it sees all four wheels fully extend, it will put all shocks to 10. If you're going to talk about dynamics, you can't talk about it without mentioning the red button here on the steering wheel. Basically, pushing this red button simply puts all shocks to level 10, and it does it for about three seconds. Say you're in comfort or sport and you're going fast, and you come across something that is gonna bottom this thing right out, then all you gotta do is push that button. It goes full 10, you absorb that impact, and then it, after a couple seconds, goes back to whatever setting you were in before. Being able to monitor all of this technical functionality right from that excellent Ride Command 7-inch display doesn't necessarily make the overall riding experience better, but it does help me as the driver to understand what the vehicle is doing so I can plan for what's coming as conditions change. Now, let's move on to the lifestyle features of this Ultimate LE package, where I'll also reveal something about the Pro XP most people didn't think possible. But to start, let's talk about the custom-designed and expertly tuned Rockford Fosgate Stage 4 audio. The system includes 100-watt 6.5-inch mids with separate 1-inch tweeters up front, 100-watt 6.5-inch coaxials with 1-inch tweeters out back, and a 400-watt subwoofer under the console. The whole system is controlled by the 7-inch Ride Command display that features AM FM radio and Bluetooth connectivity. A customizable EQ can be found under the settings on the radio page and while your phone is connected via Bluetooth, you'll also get text on screen and have the ability to take, make and end calls right from the screen or your steering wheel. Does the Rockford system make the Pro XP4 perform better on the trail? 
No, but it does make your ride overall more fun by offering an expertly tuned audio experience you simply can't get anywhere else. The last thing I want to quickly touch on before I wrap things up is a feature many don't even know the Pro XP4 Ultimate has. It's fold flat rear seats. But for anyone who wants their four seater to be capable of not only hauling lots of people, but in other situations, lots of gear, this feature will be priceless. Does Polaris's 2021 Razer Pro XP4 Ultimate Rockford Fosgate LE live up to its incredibly long name? Absolutely. It is perfectly suited for anything from a long day on the trail with the family to an afternoon in the dunes and even a multi-day trip in the wilderness. It offers legendary Pro XP ride and handling as well as impressive performance, comfort and convenience features you won't find anywhere else. In my opinion, this is the ultimate four seat sport side by side. Dirt Tracks has been sponsored by Hercules Tire, ride on our strength. Jemco Cargo Boxes, be prepared for anything. And by Mad Ramps, leave the trailer and go.